Hi, Rupa. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Um, tell us, how does it feel to be here tonight and nominated for this Breakthrough Producer Award? Yeah, it's very surreal. Just n nice to be recognised for, uh, for for making this uh, low-budget um, feature. Yeah, it's amazing. And tell us a bit about Brian and Charles. Quite a quirky film. Um, what was the idea behind it, and what's it been like working on it? Oh, it's well, I, I've worked with David and Chris for years and years through the live circuit, so that's where those sort of two characters were developed. So, uh, and then we went on and made the short film. But yeah, and then to make a feature film is sort of yeah, very surreal that you sort of go and work in this bigger medium. But yeah, it's been amazing, amazing experience, amazing learning curve, and yeah, exciting. Want to do more? And what are the specific challenges, but all the th aspects you enjoy about being a producer and being on that side of the, the filmmaking process? Uh, to do our film specifically or just generally? A bit of both. Well, our film, we shot it in, in the middle of COVID in North Wales in the height of the sort of, of the winter. So that was a, f a physical challenge immediately. But um, uh, yeah, and then specifically, I'm not sure actually what, uh, just, just to be a nice person, just be nice to people, communicate, you know, just get, get it done and, and want to make it basically. And what do you think the importance is of awards like this and how do you see the health of, I guess, of kind of like the independent film industry, particularly here in the UK? Yeah, I mean, it's my first film. I've not really worked in the film industry for ages, but I get a sense that it is a very healthy sort of sector. And yeah, to have, a, have an event like this, amazing sort of, you know, put independent film out there to a sort of wi a wider audience and uh, yeah, it's great. And have you, I mean, the reception to the film has been incredible. I mean, what does it mean to you, you know, when you work on something like that and just really see it connect with audiences? And it's, yeah, it's, sort of, it's, it's terrifying, but sort of exciting as well. <laughs> yeah, you just go and shoot something with not many people in the middle of nowhere for three, four weeks and then, yeah, you get it out in the world. It's so nice to sort of see people respond to what you wanted wanted people to respond to, so yeah, yeah, I love that. And what had you worked on before this and what are you going to do next? What's that? What had you been working on before this and what are you going to work on next? So I work in a TV comedy, so I've been working on some stuff <laughs> for a company called Baby Cow, so I've been doing TV comedies there. And then a uh, bit more of that and then hopefully another feature with, with the same team, David, Chris and Jim. That's the plan. Amazing. Well, really enjoying the night. Best of luck. Thanks a lot.